The carousel feature is a very convenient feature because it allows you to switch from one book to another without having to go to the library tab. You've been looking at it in action for the past 15 seconds. As you can see, it has been swapping out my Bible with another Bible, and all I have been doing is just clicking on an icon. Now, let me show you how it works. To start off with, in the bottom left corner of the book window are the carousel icons. These icons will help you manage, operate, and configure the carousel feature. So to use the carousel feature, the first thing you need to do is you need to create your carousel list. To create a list, click on this icon here. That opens the carousel editor window. Look in the list of books on the left hand side for a book that you want to add to your list. Click on it. After you click on it, click on the right arrows here. And that adds the book to the carousel list. You can also select multiple books by holding down the control key as you click on each book. When you have finished making your list, click on the OK button. Now you can rotate through your list by clicking on these arrow icons. To go forward in the list, click here. To go backwards in the list, click here. I'm obliged to point out that not all of our books have this carousel feature and not all of our books can be added to a carousel list. Books that support the carousel feature include the following Bibles, some commentaries and outlines, some study notes and some study Bibles, some sermon help books, some handbooks, some illustrations, some topical books, and some dictionaries and encyclopedias. And if you are a user that creates multiple desktops, you will be glad to know that the carousel lists you make in one desktop are still available in all your other desktops. So, if I switch over from my youth ministry desktop to my Sunday sermon desktop, you can see that the same Bible carousel list that I created earlier is still available to me.